Hey everyone, it's Kato, and in today's video, for some reason, I've decided that creating a vacation home for my nemesis would be a good idea. So that's what we're doing today. I am going to amiibo in my arch nemesis in Animal Crossing. Now, for a little backstory, the reason why I hate this villager so much is because they were rude to me in New Leaf. When I played New Leaf, they were so mean to me on my town, and I have held a grudge ever since. I hit her in the head with a net every day, waiting for her to leave. It took forever, and that is why I can't stand Violet. So, I'm going to get ready for work here on Happy Home Paradise. Then we are going to Amiibo in Violet. And we're going to create a little vacation home for her. Lottie, I need to work. Yes, I am looking for some work. I need to get changed. You know, I wish there were more options on what we could wear while we were working, but that's just a little pet peeve. Okay, we need to amiibo in Violet. This is my first time, I think, amiiboing in someone for Happy Home Paradise. I have Violet's amiibo here. I am so close to having every amiibo card from series one through five. I'm pretty excited about it. I think I need eight cards to complete the collection and oh, I wanna do it so badly. Okay, Violet, this is the only time I'm ever going to use your amiibo card. I can guarantee you that. This is Violet. How do you do? You wanna build a vacation home just for me? I guess so and I don't really know why. You should be skeptical. No, you should be skeptical. Do not be thrilled. Do not be excited. <laughs> now, I don't know exactly what route I'm going to go with this at this point. Like, do I just put trash all over her home? I don't know. Sweetie. Ew. My ideal vacation home would be something along these lines. A cozy eatery. Cozy eatery? With a cash register? Ew. Okay. I mean, I guess we can do that. I really like your concept. Lottie is such a liar. <laughs> okay, we need to pick where we are going to put Violet. And I always tend to go for the summer or spring sections. I don't really know. You know, honestly, I feel like maybe we should put her on like a secluded island. No one else there. Let's just put her on an island. That way she can't bother anyone else. She won't be around anybody. Let's do that. That sounds wonderful. If you can make it happen, then I can't wait to see it. Ugh. Always one floor. Y'all, I've never done one of these with two floors because I do not have the patience. Always, always one level. I wish, okay, I really dislike, I really dislike sweetie as a catchphrase or a term of endearment or something. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't like sweetie. Okay, we're here. We're on the island. Now what? <laughs> okay, I have no plans, so I think my first plan of attack. I'm going to just kind of go through items and see what's in my catalog, what I have to work with, and then see if anything inspires me. After going through a ton of the items, I kind of feel like I want to go in a purple direction just because Violet's purple and I never really use purple colored things. So that's what I'm trying to do. However, there are not many things in this game that are actually purple and I don't have any custom designs that lean towards that. So I feel like this might be difficult. I'm going to kind of play around with some things, see what happens, and then I will come back, talk a little bit more about what I'm doing, and we will go from there.
I've placed a bunch of stuff and I hate it. I hate the way this is turning out. I don't know where I'm going to go from here, but I'm just going to get rid of everything and kind of start over. I don't hate the idea of the purple, but trying to use all of this stuff and make it look more like put together, it's just not working for me. I think I need to go in a more natural direction with this. I'm going to get rid of everything. I'm going to start over and <laughs> we'll see where this goes. I'm, you know, I'm feeling a little discouraged here. I don't know if I'm going to have a build at the end of this because this is rough. Okay. I've changed up the house. I made it smaller into a villager home. I stuck with the purple. Now I'm adding bushes, purple roses, white tulips, and I'm going to just add a bunch of natural features to this. And so far, I'm liking this a lot more. It's definitely really simple. It is nothing fancy, but it's coming together a little bit better, a little bit easier than the last design I was doing, so I feel good about that. So I'm going to keep working on this, and I will come back when I've placed some more things. We'll discuss it, we'll talk about it, and we'll see how y'all feel about it. All right, I'm adding some finishing touches here, just a couple more flowers, a couple more weeds. This is the most basic of basic 
designs that I've ever done in my life. It's literally just flowers, bushes, and then there's two little seating areas. I have one on the left with some cookies and a chair, and then I've got the harp on the right. I actually kind of like the simplicity of it, and I really like the purple with the white. So, I mean, I'm not unhappy with it. It's definitely not great, but I'm not unhappy. We're going to go inside and see if I have any more luck with decorating the interior. Honestly, I'm blaming Violet for my struggles with this. This is all her fault. So we're doing a kitchen, I guess. My initial thought is I want to have a kitchen and then a seating area. So that's kind of what I'm going for. I think what I need to do, clear out the room and I just start with wallpaper and flooring and kind of see what I'm going to do from there. So let's start there with the wallpaper. Okay, I actually like this chocolate herringbone. It kind of gives like a moody vibe to this. I'm really leaning into this idea of doing things that I don't typically do, using things I don't typically use. Um, I also, I like this hexagonal floral flooring. Does it really go? Probably not, but I do plan on using a rug. Um, not that, not, not the shaggy rug. Um, purple Parisian. I don't love it. I feel like it's a little too purple. I feel like we need something slightly more muted. So let's keep looking for a different rug here. Maybe, I don't know, elegant brown rug, elegant blue rug. Let's do, let's try the elegant brown rug. Okay, I like that. Slightly more muted and then I think I can use some different furniture to add a little bit more color, but I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm gonna mess around with this. I'm gonna start grabbing some items to place in here and then we'll see where this goes. I've picked some items. I have the start of my kitchen area and I really like this overhang. I mean, I love the ceiling items so much. So I've got this overhanging shelf over a counter with some bar stools and then we've got the kitchen area. I also want to add an accent wall, but I have no idea what I'm going to add, but I like where this is going.
I finally figured out an accent wall. I really like it. I like the floral. I feel like it ties into the rug. I'm going to add a seating area. And other than that, there's really not going to be too much more furniture. So I'm going to let y'all watch me build for a little bit. And then we'll kind of come back at the end and see how this all turns out. All right, finishing touches are done. I've added things to the wall. I am happy with this. This is probably, I mean, it's pretty simple still. However, I really like the partitions. I really like the counter and the overhanging. Like I just like the segmentation of this room. It's simple, but it's cute. And you know what, Violet? I appreciate you making me step out of my comfort zone. I normally wouldn't go in this direction with a room. So I like it. I'm very, very happy with this. So we're gonna do a little montage here of the room. And I would love to know, what do y'all think about it? Do you like the inside? Do you like the outside? Um. What do you think about Violet? I need to know down in the comments. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate if you like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.